E3 hype train cometh, fueled by games both big and small. Here's one we've got our eyes on, and you should too. Evolve is a first-person multiplayer game where a team of four hunts a player-controlled monster that evolves during the course of the match. More often than not, by the end of the game, the hunters become the hunted. In a world full of triple-digit participant deathmatches and massive online battle arenas, it's nice to see the playing field scaled down. Partying up with three other hunters simply feels organic, plus going up against a singular foe which grows and could end up devouring you for fun and profit is just a lot more epic than mowing down mindless AI and constantly respawning opponents. We've had some hands-on and found that being the monster is simply more fun. Though each hunter has varied abilities and different weapons, the true pulse of the game comes from being the monster, indulging in hunting wildlife, evading the hunters, evolving yourself, and eventually becoming feared. What happens when you join a lobby and everyone just wants to be the monster all the time? All we've seen and played revolves around one map and one monster. E3 is the perfect venue to debut a brand new monster with completely different abilities, or a new environment with exclusive wildlife and modular set pieces. Maybe reveal some metagame niceties, something to make it worthwhile to bag a monster. Beyond that, maybe we'll snag some details about additional modes beyond 4 versus 1. Could you imagine more than one monster in a match? Neither can we. The developer of Evolve, Turtle Rock Studios, is comprised of a group of people that created the original Left 4 Dead. Now you see the similarities, right? We'll see if any of the hunters end up saying pills here at some point during the game. That would be rad. We're counting down the days to the Electronic Entertainment Expo with 30 games in 30 days, culminating in our own top 10 anticipated games of E3 on June 6th. Rest up over the weekend and then come back to Game Trailers on the 9th for all the press conferences, trailers, and announcements, along with exclusive demos and interviews on our all-access stage. And that is why Buttons deserves to go to E3. Hey. Not bad.